Good morning to all. We the students of class 10C are here to convey a very important information about river pollution. Culturally and spiritually, this is the richest land on our planet. Our rivers are important for it to flourish. Let our rivers flow. Good morning everyone. I am here to give you some information about the river pollution. Water from the river has been the basic natural resource essential for various human activities. Rivers have been the fundamental importance throughout human history. Water from river is a basic natural resource essential for various human activities. But the growing domestic, municipal, industrial and agriculture demands for water from the rivers affects the quality of the water. As a result, more and more water is being drained out of the river reducing the volumes. Do you know that rivers can clean themselves? Yes, rivers can clean themselves for some amount of waste, but the growing industrialization and urbanization does not allow it to happen. And the pollution level of many rivers has been rising. This affects not only the quality of water, but also self-cleaning capacity of the river. Thank you. Here we are going to present a skit about river pollution. In our skit, the members of the eco club and photography club are on a field trip to observe and photograph the beauty of nature. Karthik, who is an eco club student, is with Sarjana and Shakti Sai, who are both from photography club. They start talking and the conversation turns to the river. Do you know that we use the water from the rivers for our daily needs? Yes, we do. But it's so sad that rivers and all water bodies give us so much, but we as consumers don't even respect them. What do you mean? Rivers provide a wonderful tourist attraction as they are so mesmerizing. The money received from this can be used to improve the conditions of the river. The rivers wouldn't really need any improvement, we don't pollute it. It is because of the trash that we humans throw into it. Now that I look around, people are throwing trash into the river just as we speak. Just imagine how bad it will look if we take a picture of this. It is not only the trash that we throw in, it's also the sewage released from our house into the river untreated, the industrial waste and the agricultural waste. So we are directly or indirectly responsible for the river pollution. As the Shit Shakti, it is a shame to see that river is supporting all living organisms but we are hurting it without even realizing that it will also affect us. Before we insist others, we must follow not polluting the rivers ourselves. You are right. We are all stop wasting water and throwing trash into the river. Then others might follow our example and soon our community would have taken a small step to stop water pollution. During the visit to the riverfront, Sarjana and Shakti Sai took many pictures of all the trash in the river. They each went home and spread the message about the river pollution. They came back the next weekend along with some friends and did their best to make the river trash free. They put up signs and took some more pictures of the cleaner river and posted it on social media along with the pictures they took earlier, hoping the next generation would be able to see much cleaner rivers. I never told you what signs they put up, did I? The sign said, pollute the water at your own risk. 